Hey, this is Eddie from Jim and Eddie talking shit. Uh, I'm here with Jim Jeffries. We just wanted to thank all the people that have been donating to the show. Thank you. For thank the, you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you've been. Thank you for your donations. You've been keeping Jason uh, not sober and uh, keeping the show going. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Make sure you go to the website, jimandeddytalkshit.com. You can donate and you get stuff like posters, T-shirts. We're all wearing the new T-shirt today. We're all wearing uh, a new T-shirt. Yeah, so you donate uh, $25, you get a poster. $50, you get a poster and a T-shirt. Uh, $500, I don't know, whatever. We've got one of our donors here today. So uh, if you give enough money, you get to come here and hang out and watch the show. Uh, we're about to start the episode, but please go to and Jim and Eddie DVDs. Talk Shit. That's it. They, 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 we have them yeah, as well. we have DVDs. All right, that was good. Let's start. Let's start this fucking show. Two douchebags on a couch. One's a missile, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh, them owls. Jim and Eddie. Talk shit. Jim and Eddie. Talk shit. Jim and Eddie. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jim and Eddie Talk Shit. This is Jim Jeffries. I'm here with my uh, friend, uh, companion, Lover. life partner. Lover. Lover, Jason Hour. Nice to have you here. Uh, Eddie's also Hello. in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was me. Uh, he was referring to as not being his lover, uh, Eddie Ift, uh, the co-host uh, that's getting pushed out by Jason. And uh, we also have a guest today. We have a great guest, a good friend of mine, one of the funniest people I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't explain him. He's a bit of an anomaly. Eddie Pepitone. Hello, talk shitters. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This is a fun place, by the way. If you haven't been here, you must come. It's in Venice. Don't give the address. Don't worry about them. Oh, really? Yeah, really? It's, it's we've on, had, we've well, had. come to the beach. Just come to the beach. We'll find you. It's on Tees Avenue. Look for Jason at the coffee shop panhandling. Yeah, I, I tell you what, though, people go to the coffee shop. There's like a little sort of talking shit retard tour you can do with the town, <laughs> which is everywhere that Jason sort of hangs out. How, how many autographs have you signed at the, at the coffee shop? I haven't signed an autograph, but I've had people approach me for pictures. <laughs> he's wearing a Jim Jeffries t-shirt. <laughs> it's funny because there's, there's an Australian girl in the room who's not a microphone right now called Bianca, and she's been in uh, L.A. for uh, how many hours, like 12 hours or something? Less than 12 hours she's been in town. And uh, Eddie's girlfriend, Lauren, uh, said, oh, Jason will take you out on the town. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so Jason took it. And then she was just talking to me like, this whole place is just like a sitcom. Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows each other. Everyone just comes up and talks to everyone. No. Everyone just fucking knows Jason. No <laughs> one's, I'll go down to the shops. No one stops me or anything like that. Jason's like, hey, Jason. He's got, he's got a nice tash at the moment as well. Yeah, he's got, he's got the porno tash, and he's been wearing the talking shit T-shirt for how many days now? Eight. Eight days straight. And the other thing is, I've had one on for 10 minutes, and his first comment was, your pits are already sweating out. <laughs> well, the best was he called me uh, last night, and he goes, hey, you know that picture you posted on the website where I look like I have a man boob? Well, I did 60 push-ups. Weirdly, it turned into a peck. <laughs> in 60 push-ups. 60 push-ups. Now look at it. Does it still look man boob or peckish? Yeah, it still looks man. Which one are we looking at? Left or the right? Left looks like a peck. Right looks like a man boob. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. No, it's the wrong way around. The right one looks like a peck. Left one looks like a man boob. And the left one has one of those sort of effeminate sort of like <laughs> meaty nipples. You know how men, ha men can have like normal nipples and then women have that sort of enlarged, oh, there might be a lump, there might not be. The mystery's all there. That's, that's the type of nipple that you're carrying around. Do you get, <laughs> do you get checked for breast cancer? <laughs> I hear men can get you breast can get cancer, it. and I don't want to bring down the podcast <laughs> to all the you know virile men out there. But that's I, our I, new charity, men's breast cancer awareness. I hear it. I hear it can happen, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I've been out with a woman with testicular cancer. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> now. Uh, Eddie Pepitone came down here and said, "Oh, I love Venice, but everyone here's crazy. Everyone." And I'm like, and now he's going to sit beside Jason and experience. <laughs> How high are you tonight? I'm pretty high. You look. You look Chinese right now. I, so uh, oh, I uh, yeah, I ate a brownie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mm -hmm. came in and you borrowed twenty dollars. I have twenty dollars. I gotta go buy weed. Did you, you did you make the brownie or did you buy them from? No, they, they're medical they're, brownies. They're right? made in a certified kitchen in, in the know? medical place. I'm fucking out of it. I just got off a plane. I was in New York and Philadelphia and got off the plane and 
fucking have to come in and you guys are all yelling and playing pinball and messed up the fucking house and I heard shit was coming out of the sink. I didn't have anything. I was away for the whole time. I'd been, I'd been away in uh, Chicago for like five days and I come back and Jason's here with Meredith who he, I think he has a story about because he was, got drunk with her no, it, and she, Meredith stayed in the house here with him. Yeah, she just, but she just like yacked. Stay, yeah, she, she, <laughs> she vomited. She threw up in my house. In the in the in the toilet. In the toilet. Oh great! And she in the Which toilet. probably came up through the sink into the kitchen. Yeah, because yeah. the sink. He was telling. <laughs> but then she stayed here, right? And when did you stay as well? Yeah. Where, which room did you stay in? On the couch. And where did Mary stay? On the couch. With you, both passed out. You snuggled with her. Yeah. After she vomited. No. Or did she vomit after she snuggled? <laughs> <with you? laughs> she vomited. After she, <laughs> was, she puked first thing in the morning. Yeah, when she vomited, was, was her mouth wrapped around your cock? <laughs> oh God, no. There's nothing better than the deep throat where the girl vomits. You don't know whether it's sexy or the smell overrides the bad situation. <laughs> you didn't know what you're getting into, wow, any, did, did you? This is anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard a deep throat vomit thing in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not since Linda Lovelace died. And you're doing a eulogy at the funeral. <laughs> She's turned into a Christian. Do you know that? She's Linda dead. Lovelace? She died in a car accident. She's dead. That's she what, died. Oh, that's what, what happens shame. when you become Christian. You, you weren't doing a bit then. Did no, you? I was, oh, right. I was right. like, no, no. She died in a car accident. Yeah. Oh shit! Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Now I went to Linda Lovelace the musical in the Edinburgh oh. Festival. What? It's not good. No, I didn't think so. No, I wouldn't think so. I have to. I have to let all our listeners know who Eddie Pepitone is. Um, I met Eddie probably what ten years ago or something in New York What's City. It? But um, did I meet you in New York? Or I met you in Nantucket. That was it. I, I thought we met in New York. I might and have met you in New York. You, you were dating. When did you first meet was, eyes though? He was dating Amy. <laughs> there was a glory hole incident years earlier. <laughs> he was dating Amy Stiller, Ben's sister. Oh, Ben Stiller's sister. Well, I knew I would have to sleep my way. Yeah, to, to the, the middle. In this bit, to the middle. <laughs> ben Stiller's sister. Yeah, I started getting very cozy with uh, Ben. Does he work out a lot? <laughs> I think he does. I think he He's does. He's an incredible, incredible shape, does except he, mentally. Does He's he, bipolar, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> does, He's bipolar. I don't know. Does he have it in his contract that he will not do a movie unless there's scenes where he doesn't have to wear a shirt or he gets to wear a sleeveless shirt or a tank top? Or something where he gets it, to... Does he always show his... his oh, every, every fucking movie. He, he hasn't been a movie for years where he hasn't been, oh no, I've fallen over and my shirt's ripped off. <laughs> He's like Marilyn Monroe standing over a vent of air. Like I he guess just if you finds... work hard, I guess if you, and I, you know, I don't know if, if any of us could qualify yeah. for that, but if you work hard on your body, you want to show it off. How do you, you know? feel? You like to show yours off. It's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's all relative, Your though. body. Jason thinks no. he looks good now because he used to look so bad before. It is so, all relative. Jason lost 80 pounds, and so now he's like... Have you lost 80 pounds? 85. 85. Wow. Yeah. Well, how'd you do it? Cut Just off pot his, brownies Cut off beer? his ankles. <laughs> yeah. He started doubling his workload. <laughs> his wife divorced him. <laughs> <laughs> is that what happened? He took yeah. a shit. Got, got, a, got a stunt job on Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of stunt work on Norbert. <laughs> Sha shaved his mound of pubes. <laughs> That one wasn't good. No. <laughs> speaking of mounds, speaking of mounds of pubes, somebody, <laughs> one of our listeners, I don't know who it was, they sent us a picture of Lilith, and I posted it on the website, and she wanted to see it. Uh, can we? Can I we haven't go? seen it. We, we we're not getting that working. Oh, the internet's down. The internet's the down. The internet's fucked. down. We, oh, we, we steal the internet from the lady next door, and she's gone on holidays. We're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Is that what happened? That's yeah. what happened. She's got a holiday. Now, probably... how come you don't have the internet here? Because we steal it for free from next door. Don't yeah, be ridiculous. Well, Serious. No, no, yeah. she knows that she's our landlady and she oh, gives okay. us the password and everything. she's gone. And but she's gone and password. she's obviously turned off all of her appliances <laughs> and we don't have internet for the next week. Speaking, speaking of internet, I don't know if I told That's you. That's funny. I, it, it, I was in West Hollywood. Uh, there's a Wendy's there and I was in the parking lot and I was on my iPhone looking for a wireless signal. Mm, yeah. You know, people name their wireless yeah i get to a wireless that <laughs> says the wireless signal is i hate right oh no right no i swear to this god this is in west hollywood this is in west hollywood it's the supposed to be tolerant the, in the west wendy's hollywood. the wendy's on sunset boulevard if you go in the parking lot it'll say the, the it's i hate i bet you they didn't have the same one in the kfc <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm thinking, how racist do you have to be that you put that on your... Because you don't want people... Like, you're thinking, I don't care if people... It was open. It was the only open one. It was yeah. open? And, and I... Look, look, I'm not a racist person, but I like free internet, so... <laughs> so, I, so I went to... Shit. Look at this picture. That's, that's not Lolite, though. <laughs> wait, I can, wait. I can see why it's funny. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, now, what is this picture? Um, it's a picture one of One of our listeners posted a picture of Lolite naked. And uh, and so it's up on the website. It's on uh, Jim and Eddie talk shit. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a woman's pissing want? out a panda. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> it's a woman with the hairiest oh armpits, my god. hairiest tits. But it, the, is that the, you, Lily? Apart from <laughs> apart from Apparently. that, the figure's spot on. Like that you remove like, the hair. That was puberty like, more so. That's before I discovered wax. Armenian what puberty, that's got to be a now. struggle. It <laughs> looks like, uh, what are those? An Armenian house with teenage girls, that's that's a couple of clogged drains you don't want to fucking go near. <laughs> what are those? Her face looks pretty hot. Can I see it, it again? It looks like she has a dead wombat on her pussy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what a wombat is, but you're right. <laughs> Does she have boobs or? No, no, no that's a woman's body. Yeah, she's got, oh, she has boobs. She's got boobs bigger it than can't she, be me then. She's got Jason boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's so high he's having fun with this Jason one. hold your microphone when you do Jason things. now now honestly we know this isn't Lily but we know how much you like Lily and in, in love with Lily in fact if you got the chance to get Lily naked and this is what she looked like where would you start <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd go with a whippersnipper and work my way to a lawnmower <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he jokes. He just goes, and what Jim said. <laughs> You're fucking too high. So to now that you that. snuggled on the couch with Meredith, and you've made out with Lily, who's Meredith, by the way? Oh, you don't even want to know. Just, oh, really? Just another one of these floozies. Is your house always like this, or is it just on podcast night, or do you have one of these open house? Policies? No, we're we're like not like we're not like a sitcom. we're not like a com. Well, we do. He has a key. He comes in whenever he wants. A lot of people in. have keys. I don't know how many people. A lot have of people keys have anymore. Keys? How many people have keys? I, this I house? arrived home from Chicago. The the, the, the drains were clogged, and Jason's first words to me were, "You can't shit here." It's coming out of the sink. Yeah, it's coming out of the sink. You can't shit in the house. I'll walk you down to the coffee shop, right? So I go I go down, I need a shit. So I go down to the coffee shop and I get in there and he looks at me like this, like, uh, well, it's, it's not as nice, but, you know. And then so I go in there and then there's, there's no toilet paper. So Meredith comes in and hands me like a handful of coffee napkins to wipe my ass with. And one of my hemorrhoids had flared back up <laughs> while I was in Chicago. So I had one of them wedged up my ass trying to clot the blood out. And then I Jesus went, I went, I, it was Lord. really the type of shit where I needed a shower afterwards. It wasn't an option, <laughs> right? So I said, can I have a shower? He goes, no, that'll clog the drains as well. We're, we're, we're not fixing the house till Eddie gets back because like I wasn't worthy of showering and shitting in the premises. So, we, so, uh, so I go, well, what am I meant to do? And he goes, oh, we'll just go over to Eddie's girlfriend's place where he had a key for her house. I didn't even <laughs> fucking know about that, right? And we just walk in there with a key and he just goes, there you go. He knows, he's obviously showered in there by himself without anyone knowing. Like I said, where you're do like I go? A, you're like a drive-by shit. Like he doesn't just go it, to people's houses it's, and it's, shit and leave. It's leaning. not even his house and he shows me where the towels are. <laughs> Who the fuck? I don't even know where the towels are in this house. And I live here. And then he, and he was there and I had a shower and, I, and he goes, I'll hold, I'll hold security. I'll hold the fort in case the roommate comes back. Like, imagine being that guy who rocks back to find Jason in there going, a guy called Jim showering in there. <laughs> wait a we minute, wait long. a minute, wait a minute. I realized I was over at her place today. I'm sitting on the couch and the door's open because the dogs are going in and out. Some random fucking dude out of nowhere comes up, <laughs> pokes his head in the door and goes, oh, he's not here. And leaves. <laughs> He's looking for Jason. Do you no. have fucking weirdos coming no, over there? No, Jason no. has Jason has a different house for different friends. Like he tries <laughs> to get because no one actually knows where his own place is, and he has a key for this one, and so forth and so on. How and Meredith, wow. this is the question I want to ask. So you've you've kissed Lilith now, and you've laid in bed with Meredith. If you had to choose life partner, which one do you want? 
Uh, it's, no, I can't do that. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. You're not a Muslim, we man. Not, you have no. to make a choice. I have a loaded gun no. underneath the Life's about commitment. It's about I will, commitment. Right, I will put a bullet in your head and nobody will care. I'm gonna, I'll join the Shaolin Temple and be a celibate monk. You should anyway. Neither of them are going to do it with you. Ah. <laughs> like, like the actual result of reality is it's never going to happen. So let's live in this fucking fantasy land, beardy. <laughs> All right, so what, which one do you want? No, that's it. Come on, Starsky, answer. No. Come on. Nope. So no. You, but one day, let's say, okay, let's say there becomes a time when they both become keen on you and it's like they're both asking you out and it's going to happen. It's like... You, you would make a choice then like, because you want to date someone. You don't want to like die they, alone. They, they both have eaten some bad beef that's given you don't them a brain die alone. disorder. They're, they're both thin <laughs> girls with brown hair, so you don't have to decide about that. The that mad cow made. disease has taken effect and they've decided <laughs> to actually give in to your rape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so what's happened? You're the last man on earth. They're the only two then surviving. Then I'd be a polygamist. No, 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 if no, I'm no. Because the they're, man, right? they're like, not up for it. I'm the they're only not one. up for yeah, it. I think Which well, I mean, one gets it. the load? Which one gets the load? <laughs> yeah, if you're banging both of them, which, which, one, which gets one gets the load? load? In a threesome, which one gets the load? They share the load. How, no, how do no, they no. share? How do they share? No, they don't share the load. It's not a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> they don't carry your burden on their face. <laughs> you don't have that. You don't have that precision. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't heaven. <laughs> anyway, go on. What do you want? Go on, which no, one? Uh, uh. Go on, no, I one. can't. No. Meredith. It's not fair. Idiot. No. Fuck face. Meredith's not in the room. Oh, right. You I was say wondering. Lolite. You say Lolite. Then when Meredith comes to the room, you say Meredith. But this is a podcast and they probably both, they're gonna both listen. Meredith wouldn't right? know how to no use win. a computer. I'm not See, sure. I, mean, I don't recorded. know Meredith. This is audio. recorded. Bar you guys, all Eddie Pepitone wants to know is who is Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith is like an angel that flies into Jason's life. <laughs> and then insults and the shit coffee. out of them. Ooh, Although man. Meredith, if you're listening, Meredith, Meredith's hair at the moment is a horrible purple. <laughs> oh, like, no, like hair is like, purple. No. Like that is rinsed into a fucking forehead. And I do this one. Hey, Meredith's hey. been on the show. And I went, How and is she I went, related to and this I went like group? This. I went, to Jason? I went, uh, hey, Meredith, nice, <laughs> no, nice hair. And she sort of looked with a level of pride. Yeah, Jason's hair coloring company did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> why is Jason getting up? Because his chemicals are up. His chemicals tell, are up. tell him why you're upset, Jason. Tell Eddie Pepitone why I you're upset. I don't understand why you seem very upset. Like, seriously, like, I do have a stake in this company, and this is my livelihood, and you're fucking with it. All right. I wish well, wait, wait. I'm hold fucking on, hold dead on. fucking hold serious. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Some people go. come down with a there pot you brownie. Go. You want that? Oh. Is that what it's about? Okay. Like, you oh. see it. Jason, we will cut it out. We will cut it out. We will cut it out. Because that, th this guy's got like we, okay, if you keep a making, lot of money at stake Jason, in this your option, company. Jason, you've got two and, options and right this now. This is a good friend of mine and it's not Jason, cool to do that to his Jason, company. Jason, you've got two options now. You can get angry and we won't cut it out. We'll cut it out and we'll leave it here. I'm, I'm good. All right, you happy again? Yeah. Okay, Jason got worked up about something. <laughs> Please write on our page what you think it might be. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you get that worked up. It's it a was a tense deal, moment. Man. It's except, serious. Except with Gemma. <laughs> Oh, the girl that you why? went to San Diego. Yeah, now the with. thing is, the thing why is, is, is it, this is what like, people are going to hear on the podcast. This is Eddie Pepitone here. Wait, this you know his last value. name? This is a guest that's like we're ignoring, you know, by just beating on me. Well, why don't you? Why <laughs> do you, you want to do an hour of power with him? No. Why not? What is that? All right. Oh, he wants. Let's just do it. One dishbag on a couch, cheese and us all in a grouch. And he sells excellent hair products, which no one should ever question. And relentless is his mouth. Eva hair products. Ah, great. Eva hair products. Jason sells them. Eva hair growth. Meredith looks great. And wispy. And purple. Go. Hello, everyone. This is the... 37th installment of the Hour of Power. I'm here with Eddie Pepitone, a uh, notorious actor and uh, you're a comedian as well. Yes. I, yeah. I, I, the internet wasn't working in the house today, so I wasn't able to actually like look anything up. But like, yeah. when he said your name today, I was like, I know that name. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I know it. I, I've seen it. I've heard it. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you much. doing today? <laughs> Oh, I don't feel good today. Why? What's wrong? 
I, I just, I, I'm in a pissed off mood, you know? Is it me? No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> not you at all. all right. Not you at all. But yeah. I, I'm feeling better now that I'm in Venice. Venice yeah. is, uh, it's trippy out here, huh? Yeah, it's insane. Imagine living here without a car. Everybody, this is Jim Jeffries. Just having a bike that you ride around. And Who this, does that? That got stolen this Jason. week. That's a yeah, story. yeah. I got no, wait, got... wait, just finish your, finish okay. your interview. Finish your interview. Well, I mean, you know, you, mm. you, you mentioned earlier, I mean, you talk about everything on the podcast. So you've been sober for 15 months? Uh, yes, I have been sober for 15 months. But, but I you tell feel you, like a fucking drink now. Yeah. Yeah. As, you, I just, I, as you hover over well, him the, and you're the, fucking stoned and alcoholic. The, I actual, love looking. Yeah, you're really high and it's kind of cool. Like I, The actual thought that came into my head when you said that earlier was like, oh, God, I hope we don't break another one. Because I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this podcast might be like where your last stop. I, look, man, back to I, I'm going to cut you off right here. We didn't break Andy Dick. Andy Dick's broken. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Was I Andy just, Dick here? I kind of felt like. <laughs> oh, my God. Because he was talking about sobriety and stuff, too. And like the next thing the you know, show, he's pissing then, in the street. Yeah, and then, <laughs> was he? Yeah, and then it was yeah, but I, and, I tried to knock it on the head as well, and I was so, fucking leathered with him. So I got to, you know, I can't. Did, yeah, but, but, did Andy did Andy Dick partied with you guys? Yeah, yeah, he was great. No, Andy yeah. Dick he didn't, didn't party with us. We so partied just... with Andy Dick. I got to tell you, he he rang me up uh, ten days later, ten days later, and said, "Hey Jim, I'm back in town." <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like going off to the airport. I said, "Oh, it's good, Andy. I'm just going to the airport." He goes, "Do you want to know why I'm back in town?" <laughs> I'm getting my car from when I saw you last. No <laughs> fucking way. So he just goes through life like that. He's awesome. So does he. And so does Jason. So does Jason, yeah. but Andy's successful. <laughs> Jason had his bike stolen. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. To, I'm resourceful, Eddie, though. Eddie, okay? doesn't, looking at Jason, doesn't it make you feel good about your sobriety? Yes. <laughs> Yes. I just want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> his, middle, his middle name is Regret. <laughs> okay, tell us about your bike being stolen. Well, my bike was stolen like a week and a half ago. <laughs> How many times has your bike been stolen? This would be the third. <laughs> Is, it's it's the not same the same bike. Same bike. Uh -huh. yeah, you yeah. always get it back, though? Yeah. yeah. That's how Venice is, right? I like, a, you I see it. <laughs> you <laughs> see it, and you're like, oh, there's my fucking bike. Is that how it goes? Uh, yeah. I have a theory, too. Let me, let, me, let me hear your theory. Uh, my theory is that it's been stolen once, and the other two times <laughs> he misplaced it and then found it again where he left it. No, my no. Theory, my theory is that there's a bunch of guys that have a podcast. Not us, but a bunch of other guys in Venice. And every day they go, oh, what are we going to do this week for the show? Let's steal that guy's bike again. I saw, I saw Adam Carolla riding by on it the other day. I think Dick is involved. And I mean that generally, not, not Andy Dick. I just think Dick is involved. How, how did you get your podcast, or your podcast back? How did, how did you get your bike back? Uh, this well, podcast has been stolen well, three you, times. Have you ever tried to sell hair products out of a basket in the front of your bike? <laughs> Fucking misery. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. He looks like a Frenchman with bread in it. Just die. Come on. It's... Tell us how you got your bike back. Um, well, I was using your bike to get around. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> his bike was you didn't stolen. Know that? Mine was stolen, and you were on the road. Yeah, Do you, you yeah. lock it up or you don't lock it up? His? No, yours. Mine, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't lock, uh, lock so Eddie's up. You do lock it up, but it gets stolen anyway. Yeah. Well, actually, what happened? Is it was my, it was my fault. I was really stoned, and I forgot to lock my bike. Uh. Well, I was like, I got distracted. You know, like I was gonna go in and then do something else, and then I actually never left. That's a drag when you're high and something like that happens, yeah. right? It's like, oh man, I'm so high. I just want to ride this wave, and then the bike gets stolen. You have to become sort of, you know, very responsible. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he met my girlfriend the other day for the first time, and his opening sentence was. My bike got stolen, but I know gang members, so I got it back. <laughs> Such oh, awesome. really? Yeah, that, you were trying to impress. Well, no. Well, okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, that's what happened. Was like this guy was riding it, and I knew him, and he gave it to me. So I think Meredith stole it, so there was a reason for her to stay here. <laughs> She's sick of you riding a home pillion on the front bars. Oh wait! So you see this guy riding the guy who stole your bike? You see? Yeah. What actually happened was like he was coming down. Well, I don't. He didn't steal it because he's older. You know, like it. Older people don't steal bikes. Yeah, no, 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 they do. No, they do. No, older people, older guys don't do light work like that. Where because they're 
you know, that exposes them or whatever. I don't know. They so when you run your gang, you're 40 years old now. What, what happens there? You, I mean, it's just me and Duke, though, man. There's not, not a lot of action in that gang, you know. See, my, my girlfriend likes Although Duke. Although Duke, Duke did get attacked uh, yesterday. Really? Yeah. Who's what? Duke? What, well, by Prozac? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's a black dog, so was it a clan thing? No, what happened? No, 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 no. Actually, some, uh, some homeless guy came up and uh, asked Meredith for, she was smoking a cigarette and he wanted a, a hit off of her cigarette. Yeah, that's she's, a weird question, isn't it? Yeah, and she's like, no, no thank you. Isn't Meredith a princess? So, um... Doesn't let the homeless guy have so a hit let off me a guess. cigarette. The homeless guy said that Duke's hair looked better than Meredith's. <laughs> No, what what he he did is he uh, he actually pushed Duke. Is Duke a dog? Yeah, yeah. 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 I so didn't know who Duke was. So is Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I like you, Meredith. I yeah, was joking. We, you, we do like you, Meredith. So Meredith does Mer listen to the and podcast. Meredith, you're, ve you're very hot until your hair got. Until you. Oh come on now. Yeah. You know? What's up? What's up? Buy hair products. <laughs> can you, can you I'm doing free advertising. Can, I'm winning celebrity, man. Can, can it's you a get, celebrity uh, endorsement of your product, can, a balding one at that. Can you give Eddie Pepitone one of your business cards, please? Yeah. 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 This fucking hour of power has been derailed by Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. Yeah, yeah. This, because they all go wonderfully. Your, your life has been derailed by you. <laughs> Have you. Wait, can I show Jim? Give me your wallet. Give me your wallet. It's a purse, Eddie. <laughs> Have you ever seen? That's a him? red crocodile purse. <laughs> look, look at how many. You no, 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 give me this. This one's amazing. I don't know why I love this one. Okay, I'm going to describe his one. It's a fold out Lacoste. We're going to take a picture of it it's, and put it's, it on it's the site. It's a crocodile, a red crocodile wallet that can fit cards and stuff in it. But it doesn't have any space for money. <laughs> like, like, like just, Jason just assumed that he'd never be putting money in it. So business, there's like a business car. There's like a driver's license. There's a guy who's going to give him a shoe one day, like his number. How, how much money is in the wallet, Jim? Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> there's no money. Uh -uh. Yeah, you know what would happen to you. You have no fair. cash right now. No cash. None. Give me some scissors. I'm going to cut money, his license how much, how much money have I given you today? Twenty. No. How much money do you owe me today? You owe me money. I owe you thirteen. Give me my thirteen dollars. I can't. Why not? <laughs> you just Eddie just gave you money, right? I gave yeah. you sixty dollars today. Give me my thirteen dollars. Yeah. You gave him sixty bucks. There's no okay. I'll let you off on the For, pin. Just I'll let live, you off on the pinball live. deck. We don't, we don't know. We the pinball deck's fine. I'll yeah. let you off on the pinball deck. Can I have my seven dollars change from yesterday? Actually, wait. Let me start with the sixty because I want to. Clear that up. You can give me. I gave you twenty dollars, right? <clears throat> and you, there was seven dollars change, right? Where's my seven? Well, and he hasn't paid me yet. So when he pays me, I'll pay you. I will give him the change again. What? Have you seen the video? <laughs> Rachel's shaking her head at me like I'm an asshole. <laughs> All right, let's See? let's get it. Let's. This has just gotten sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is on air. Begging, yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. right? No, wait, I, if no, I give you money, no I want begging the involved. I made you chicken burgers, correct, last night? Right. Yeah? Yeah. I gave you chicken burgers. Right. Oh, what a sweet. Yeah, this is a really good dog. <coughs> I'm getting sick of chasing. Where's my seven dollars? No he owes me money, and I'll pay you that when he, I, I had to use it. All right. Okay. I believe you. Um, can I talk about how I know Eddie Pepitone? Yeah, that's much I better. I thought we've already done this. No, you never let no, me finish, just, Jim. You okay, interrupted. Sorry, blew right sorry. into beating on me. Uh, so Eddie Pepitone was dating Amy Stiller. I was in Nantucket. That's where we were. The yeah. And then we went into Ben Stiller's body. <laughs> <laughs> you, you immediately went into Ben Stiller's that body. Was, I, I, went, I went homosexual real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry about the that. The show no. should be called Almost Gay. Um, <laughs> uh, so we, we were on the island of Nantucket. I was doing a gig. At this, like, it was under a church, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like this weird gig. It's a church had a church. theater, you know. They had a theater, and they were doing a show. And I was friends with Amy Stiller, and she was on the show. And, and Ann Mira and Jerry Stiller were on the show. Ben was the only Stiller not on the show. Does Jerry Stiller talk like that in regular life? Yes. Yeah. Good. Good to know. <laughs> and Eddie is on the show also. So I do my set. Everything's okay. And the guy who booked it did his show. Then Eddie comes up, and I'm telling you, Nantucket is the premier, very conservative, cons most conservative place in the world. Very oh. right wing. I once knew a man from there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everyone looks like. Oh, I thought that deserved something. Uh, oh, that was, was actually no. The, a girl was wearing that shirt today. Uh, great. So, I saw a girl. Did you have so, a bucket? No, I saw a girl. Go wearing get, that go shirt get your said, bike. I am the man from Nantucket. 
Go get your bike. I'm the man from Nantucket. I saw a girl wearing that shirt today. He wore a shirt, then I it's fucked weird. it. All right, go ahead. So, uh, I mean, there's people in the crowd wearing wide whale corduroys with ducks and lobsters on them. You know, like they've got it's sailboats. It's like the preppiest place in the world. And Eddie comes on stage, does his act, and at one point starts yelling in mm-hmm. his act. I don't know what the bit Well, was. I say I do an impression of a boy who's slept with his mother. Oh, I do impressions of Jason his, too. <laughs> and poked his eyes out. So it's like a, a, an Oedipus impression. Right? And I just say, because you know, this guy, he, he had too many melon balls. And he poked his. He slept with his mother because he was he was drunk, and he poked his eyes out. So please enjoy it. And then I just scream at the top of my lungs for about ten minutes. I fucked my mommy. And it was, I mean, I scream it loud. Minutes, when yeah, he says yeah. ten minutes, I'm not joking. I watch the and audience. That's, the whole <laughs> that's basically. I think I saw it. you do that on Letterman. <laughs> That's my problem is I don't really have a Letterman set, you know, because you can't get that by their censors. They're like, no, I, I fucked my, it can't be I fucked my mommy. It has to be something else. I slept with just, my mom. I slept with my mom. Maybe I can do that. Just scream, I slept with my mommy. He was yelling, I fucked I my mommy. I impregnated my mommy. He was yelling, I fucked my mommy. Did you ever see an audience when somebody's doing something like that and they go from, they laugh at first. And then they get weirded out. Well, that's... But then, then they, they come back they again. Back. Yeah, like, I like do Well, in that bit, I like doing it for a really, really, really long time. Sure. You know, I just keep going, keep going, and fuck my mommy, fuck my mommy, fuck my mommy, fuck my mommy, fuck my mommy. I fuck my... And I kind of have intonations of it, and I also... Slow it down. No, and I slow it down, but I also throw in things like, what a day. You know, <laughs> earth swallow me up, and then I always go back to, I fucked my mommy. Did you? I never did. Never did. I never did. She was. So my you, mother came on to me a lot, especially my, when I was. My mom used to cuddle a bit too long. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this, J- Jason. Did your mom hug you? Yeah. Ever. Yeah, and with her height, that must have been like blowjob area. <laughs> so anyway, you met him. You were saying that. So I met him. Or is your story just that you saw his show? There must be more to it. No, it was just pretty funny watching all these disturbed Nantucketites, like all disturbed about Eddie, just going, "I fucked my mother. I fucked my mother." And I'm looking around, and I'm. Did you close with that? One of their jokes. I, it's a closer. It's a closer. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm, can't follow that because first of all, my throat. It's not an opener. <laughs> you can't the opener is I fucked my sister. I fucked my sister. I, fucked my sister. I worked to my men. And then the next time I saw him, he's in the movie Old School. Did you is that right? Is that what happened? I liked Old School. Yeah, it was a very old funny. Old School is one of my favorite comedies. Now you you're you're a big fan of Todd Phillips now. <laughs> <laughs> no, well I I just I just fucking hate the way uh, the Hangover, the popularity <laughs> of the Hangover, and the way people were fawning. On the Hangover. Now I auditioned for it, and the character's name was Eddie, and I had worked with Todd. <laughs> and you didn't get and, it. And and his production guy is a really nice guy, Scott, and he always he always does this. He's is like, that Scott Armstrong? Oh, no, no, no. He's a co-writer of this shit oh. that Phillips does. But this guy, Scott Budnick, is like a part. I don't know if they're still partners, but uh, Budnick would he would always be like, "Oh, this part's for you." Like like that kind of thing. Like this part's for you. It was written for you. Like one of those guys who's like and but it really, he's auditioning like a lot of people, and you know it like psychs me up. It like psychs me up. But um, I didn't get it. Now I don't know what you guys thought of the Hangover, but I thought it was really hyped. And I like the wasn't first one. That I wasn't great. that keen on the second one, but I like the first one. Yeah, I I didn't even think the first one was that funny. Did you guys like the first one? <laughs> I did, yeah. What about you? What you're not talking? I, uh, I liked uh, Eddie. I liked old school a lot. Eddie, Eddie Pepitone. Um, now, whoa, 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 whoa! You've been why? in movies. You've been in movies. Would you like to hear all the movies me and Eddie have been in? <laughs> yeah. Well, so you, we, we choose well, not well, to listen. answer your questions. Yeah. Do you see why we're not talking? I would like to be in a movie before I slag off movies. <laughs> I liked Ishtar. Oh, and I, I did by. like Ishtar. <laughs> I did like. I Ishtar. actually liked King of California. I thought that was a good film. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that sucks that movie. we can't criticize 
uh, it does suck to biz, but you we, know, but because we're not. it's so like and Hangover Two and hang like and I started tweeting a lot of shit like premise for Hangover Three, like the three <laughs> of them wake up and realize that substance abuse is not funny, and like just <laughs> oh, they, they no become, because it's about movies about fucking guys. They become Christian. They get their hangover from being an atheist. Like a whole new <laughs> life sets in, and then they start checking their receipts. Like look at all the frivolous things I've spent money on yes, over the years. Yes, yes. Hangover Five, they're really examining themselves in like yeah. Buddhist monasteries, and <laughs> they're trying not to drink. They eventually take acid by mistake. I I'm not going to lie to you. This is yeah. probably the highest Jason's ever been. <laughs> no, on no, the show. no, no, no. I was more no, high no, no, on uh, my birthday. He was more high on his birthday. He was yeah. way more drunk the other day. Yeah, but this is the worst you've been. Why? Because you're just you're so high. You seem no. You I mean you you seem I'm happy with yeah. The you fuck? seem happy. You know? high. Jeez. No, it's just you. You don't so, have your skills tonight. I hear they're really? going to make uh, my Hangover skills. Three. Oh no! No, no, because it's made that, that second one's the highest grossing film ever, and they've only got one city left, Amsterdam. That's what they have to do. Go to Amsterdam. And what's going to happen? What's going to be the premise? Well, there's, 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 no, there's no transsexuals in Amsterdam, so they can't play that card again. Uh, what did we do? They're going to fuck kids. Yeah, the thing is because they're not going to get stoned on purpose, so there has to be some way for Zach Galifianakis' character to. Drug them. Drug. Is that weird? Well, thing? I knew it was going to be a piece of shit just because there was a monkey in the trailer. Like whenever you, that's a rule of thumb. If you see that, a yeah. fucking yeah, monkey, monkey that movie in with Clint the Eastwood? trailer, just any monkey. Like you do not see a monkey in ordinary people. Do you know what I mean? With Robert Redford, you know what I mean. You That'd don't see a monkey. You're, in you're talking an actual monkey. You're not just being racist. Right? Because oh, they're oh, in geez. Thailand. Oh no, I was just checking. I don't know much about Eddie Peppertone. I don't know what his political stances are on the foreign people. Yeah, I'm just completely <laughs> out of my mind. <laughs> and I hear there was a monkey in the movie. It's okay, we're allowed to make these jokes. We have three Mexicans in the room. What the hell? It was a joke. No, no, I'm not saying it wasn't a funny joke, Jim. Mm. I'm just saying that we're in enough trouble. We can't say gay jokes because of Tracy Morgan. can't say Morgan. F- anymore because of what Tracy yeah, Morgan Tracy said. Morgan got Tracy it. Morgan, though, he said... If my He's son, an idiot. If my son came home and, and said he was gay, gay I'd stab I'd him. I'd stab <laughs> that little N-word in the stomach. That, that little f***ing N-word in the stomach. Now, the thing is... Boy, what a dumb guy. You know when there's a sentence... What a dumb Did he N-word say N-word? Guy. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. didn't say... He said N-word. And by the way, NBC... Yeah, and, and those that's guys, what he said, NBC. No, NBC would not... Would, didn't do anything to him for that? No, but... It I, is hilarious that he's not, not kicked off I'm not going to No, but they did to Joe Coy. They, Joe Coy allegedly got done for saying the word f***ing recently. No. In Chicago. From what? Don't, he got done he from He said what? it on, live on stage. Just, what happened was he was on stage in Chicago. No, no, but I mean, what, what was Joe, Joe on? The, the Chelsea Handler show coming up. This is the <laughs> rumor. No one... I can't confirm this. Like, 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 because oh. Chelsea Handler, let's be honest, the only people watching that show is f- <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, cut that out. We can't. Jeez, we're, we're, trying get, we're trying to get an what NBC the show. Fuck. No, no, it's, it's, it's this no, whole no. chunk. This you know, whole, are you no, mad at Ernie you see, for some reason? This is a weird thing. This is a weird are you thing. Angry with Ernie? Bleep that word. Bleep that word. On that the whole word. idea of the podcast is we're supposed to be able to say anything That's we want to say. Exactly right. But, and it's the same thing with comedy. Like Louis C.K. defended. Uh, Fucking Tracy Morgan and people went after he did. Louis. Yeah, he people did. went after Louis C.K. No, no, no. I think when you're on stage and you're a comedian and you're working out material, you're constantly in that area of it can go wrong. No, this is true. This is true because I hate when people. If you're a I, moron, I hate when people videotape this stuff because you can take too, things out of context, like call back stuff. No, no, no. I was at that gig that Michael Richards did, and he was doing a lovely little routine before that. If you saw the beginning of it, the end premise. Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a lovely, he, friendly routine. It was completely it, taken it was, out of context. It was edited poorly. Yeah, it was. He was totally talking about affirmative action, and he was trying to argue <laughs> that blacks don't need affirmative action because they're a superior race. And he said something like, a really nasty comic would say something like this, and then he went yeah, into the routine. Said. You know then what? These said, guys we're mentioning you know what their problem is uh richards morgan they're not good stand-ups no exactly and that's what happens when you, people think if they you can do just it, do stand-up if you do no, it a funny. lot of people think they could just get on stage and do fucking stand-up right and especially celebrities think they can do that shit mm-hmm. and they go on there and they they don't have the skill they 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 go into that primal zone and they can't fucking do they, they're idiots right yeah, it's a snap, it, and it's uh, listen. 
Let me tell you something. Tracy Morgan for years has been notorious for walking audiences. This wasn't. Is the, that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't the first time Tracy's fucked up. I worked the improv in Miami, and they told me when he was there, they accidentally they took him to the radio station, and the radio show he was doing was in one of those radio stations where they've got like five different studios. And he went into the wrong one by mistake. And there was a female interviewer and he started licking her toes. And the next thing you know, she calls the police and has him brought up on assault charges. He shows up to the comedy club that night. They, they, they shuttle him out the back door and put him on a flight back to New York. Like, he's constant. He's known for being off the handle. It's like Andy Dick getting arrested hey, for um, like, trying to make out with dudes. In Denver, they have a policy. At the comedy club in Denver, they have a policy for, just for Tracy Morgan. For when, just for Tracy Morgan. Just for Tracy Morgan, when you go in, where they go, if anyone wants a refund, you can have it now, <laughs> but this is your last chance. No Be, way. Like, like a big warning as they walk in the room. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a Charlie Sheen show. You know, like you, you don't know what you're going to get. So I've seen Tracy Morgan be incredibly funny. I, right. uh, incredibly funny. But I've also seen it where it's like. How do you get on Saturday Night Live? That seems like Saturday Night Live had this policy. If you look up old videos of Tracy Morgan when he used to do like the Black Circuit and stuff, you will find videos. I think he's very funny. Unless, unless, unless they've gotten these off of YouTube, Tracy Morgan used to perform with a beanie on his head with a propeller. <laughs> Right. I Did swear he? to God. And, and if any colorful suspenders? <laughs> I think so. And if anyone can find it, uh, it, it's out there. I have seen the videos. And uh, he was just a funny, crazy guy. And he is very, but everyone knows he's crazy. They all put, that's why they put him on TV. It's like, why did we put Jason on this show? <laughs> I ask that question every day. Not really. I just don't think about Jason, it. Jason, would you wear a beanie with a propeller on it? Free clothes, of course he fucking would. <laughs> He'd wear a dog turd if you told him it was a T-shirt. <laughs> got to cut out all that stuff where I said the F word. The F word? Yeah, that's, that's what it's gotten to, this politically correct society where I can't say English cigarette anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's also, that's one group I wouldn't mess with because they, uh, you know, they've got some issues now with the gay marriage going on and I'm all for gay No, marriage. I like gay people. And I do too, and I'm all for gay marriage. Wouldn't have one in my house. <laughs> I'm kidding. I like gay people. Cut it. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's your, pot, your podcast is the cut out. Our, but cut this out. I'm just going to make the edited version next door neighbor is a gay man. Delightful. Shh. Oh, my he God. He asked if he could come over and listen to the show. Does and he I, listen to the thing? And the he's windows listening? open. Do you think he doesn't fucking know? I'm I don't sure know if he, he knows. Listens. I think if we just ask him nicely, he's obviously gay. He can't be gay. He's married he's to gay. a lesbian. Oh, well, that means... That Jim, what are you just making a blooper reel all night? What the Jason, fuck? Jason, go ask Andrew to come over here right now. No. Yes. Right. No. Go get him. We'll ask no him. way. We're going to ask him he's if he's... He's in some fucking weird... No. Are you scared? Hell no, no I'm not him. risking... It's a gay man. Let, you can let take me, him. Let me explain Daddy Pepitone. We have a neighbor. No. He's a great guy. Great guy. Good friend. He is gay and his wife's Nicest gay. man in the world. And they're married. He is lovely. He is gay and his and wife. And she is gay. Oh, oh so it's a uh, marriage of convenience. He, he's or? very feminine. Like, and it's cliche. Like he's planting flowers uh, and she's going to softball. Uh, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's it's not a what, soft. It, it's just like a beard marriage. He's like the, the we the, can't figure. The, I heard there. Do in they love. listen to the podcast? Hello. The, or they just hear it through the, the wall. The nicest man in the world. He asked me yeah. the other day if he could come sit in on the podcast, and I was like. Ah, oh, Jim's going to ask him. I know it's going to be really I'm uncomfortable. I'm going to ask him. You won't ask him? I don't have to. I know. You just me, His mother knew the moment he fell out and went, hello, everybody, I'm born. <laughs> like, he's just... Will you ask him, though? I'm not going to... I won't ask him. I'll tell you what I will do for you. If he's here, I'll, we'll get into a gay conversation and I'll go, hey, <laughs> hey, and I won't say... Can I but, put my cock in your no, mouth? No, I'll go, hey, as a gay person, what do you think? I'll, I'll ask him like that because I think that he won't even question me. He'll just talk to us. But then he's a good friend. He's a gay we'll, person. We'll what do you think we'll, about what? We'll lose our we'll, relationship. We'll have some him. type of theory. Oh, I see. You just. Oh, he's 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 th he's he doesn't say he's gay. He's I think every, I think he would if you asked him, he would answer you honestly. Then go get him, Jason. Go get him. No. Why not? It's too late to knock on his door. I, uh, I agree with Jason. He made me come over to clean up the Harlow's poo the other day. And he goes, thank you for coming. I just can't pick that up. He <laughs> goes, I just can't do it. He goes, he goes, my dream, do you want to hear my, you don't want to hear my dream. <laughs> and I go, I absolutely want to hear your dream. He goes, my dream is I want to get a pet someday. I'm afraid, but I want to get a pet. And then every time he goes, I want him to wait 
till I can get something and like a piece of paper or plastic and it goes under and it catches it. So I never have to touch it. He told me his dream the other day. Um, was to get in the glory was, hole box. No, it was, <laughs> it was to pick up the dog shit and smear it on his cock. No, um, no. <laughs> Cut that okay. out. I'm sorry. No. Cut that, out. Cut that out. Why is this the edited episode? No, no, he said, Why are we so afraid? One time, one time he, he said. Don't you he like said, your neighbors? No, but the thing I is, love them. Why insult them like this then? You know, like, you know, How are we insulting the them? Wait, 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 when did wait, you become hey, Jason, the fucking voice of reason? Jason, we love you. Since I ate that brownie. Don't listen to him, Jason. You look good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no one's out to get you. Did they dye your mustache? <laughs> would you just lick out a homeless man's ass? <laughs> yeah. did, you, did you use Jim's razor again to cut no. that thing? You did you use my razor the no, other day, I didn't my you? Own. No. My razor, my razor. I had not my touched razor, razor. My razor had strange hairs in it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Does Lilith have a key? No, Lilith wouldn't have used my razor. <laughs> I didn't say the, the blade was dull and blunt. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that it had strange hairs in it. Lalit cuts that shit with a machete. You, <laughs> you do? You, you, you British cigarette. This is a good time for a plug. <laughs> yeah, when I'm... We don't have any ads, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and, our ad guy's I'm, here. There's David, our ad guy. What happened to Adam and what Eve? What happened to Adam and Eve? Yeah, they, didn't, uh, they didn't get a lot of... A lot of people buying back. dildos. Yeah, they, didn't get, they didn't make a lot of sales. You, you'd yeah. think they would have done well selling a lot of dildos because a lot of our fans are complete cunts. <laughs> 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 like if you've read the forums, fuck me, some of them are vicious bastards. Do you sell ads on your podcast? No, we don't. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm listening to this. I'm going, why the fuck aren't we selling ads on our podcast? Because <laughs> they don't. Adam sell. and Eve. What? What? What are they? They are. Uh, They're nobody to us anymore. They're dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> What were they? <laughs> they were the worst sex toy company in the Are world. Are they sex toys? No, toy? no, they were our next door neighbors. One's gay, one's a <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. Cut <laughs> that. <laughs> and they both use Eva hair coloring pro. Our, uh, <laughs> our, sponsor, our sponsor this week is editing. editing. Like you just have an editing equipment sponsor. No. Like, <laughs> Final <laughs> Cut Pro. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. We want it like Morse code this fucking show. Yeah. You're on the Morse code episode. Really? Code episode. Oh, that's what, good. Yeah, what do you think? You're, you're, it on. You know your what? name is Eddie Beep. Yeah. <laughs> and and the Morse code says the word f <laughs> <laughs> So beep that out as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking done. <laughs> we, we've pissed off Chelsea Handler. We've got, we got our advertising. We've pissed going. off everyone involved with the hangover. Eva hair coloring is dropping Jason as their best employee. Adam and Eve's oh. never coming back. Our sales guy's going to leave. What else can we fuck up? We haven't talked you know yet. What I Wait, we haven't talked yet about Whitney Cummings. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We've only got 10 minutes left. <laughs> How many more TV shows can she get? Don't be jealous. I'm completely jealous. I'm oh, sitting I'm on a couch with it. you. Chase the dream, not the competition, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> You've been to see a self-help guru lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one did you go to? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking daisy chain of self-help. Oh, that's a big Australian thing. Have you ever gotten a life coach? No. That's an Australian thing? Oh, they all get life no. coaches. Yeah. Life's very hard out there. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim wants to win. I'm a winner. I'm not, I don't want to win. Have you gone to a therapist? I've been to psychiatrists at bad times in my life. Uh -huh. But that's when like people have died and shit. Not because my career is not going well. Oh. <laughs> that's when I go. I can handle people dying. I can handle death. Fuck them. It's all about no, you. Yeah, I've, I've, when death I've, doesn't bother me. When I've had loss in my life, not when I've done bad at the chuckle hut. In fact, in Nashville or something, which I'm actually at in two weeks' time. <laughs> that was a great plug. <laughs> I'm going to be that in Tennessee, great. Nashville. I don't know what it's called. It's called fucking laugh your bananas off or something. Chuckle, chuckle, fun, fun. God, you're making me die. paranoid about podcasts that you can't say anything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this is a weird Let's week. attack the Pope. 
Wait, Milan, Milan, yeah, you're from good, Australia. No, it's no, no, no. Wait, I just heard I this. Will, I will not attack a Nazi on this show. <laughs> I made fun of the Pope in Australia, and they said I made fun of a soft target. Oh, really? The, the, they, the Pope, they gave you yeah. shit that yeah, the, the Pope is an yeah, easy, you can't, easy yeah, target? You can't make fun of the Pope or Oprah. But I just found out Why the same Oprah? city Oprah I was in. Oprah is a soft target. Am I, am I wrong? that woman's skin. Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> Leathery, but, but moist. Your country... The state of Victoria, is it true they just passed a law you cannot swear in public or you get fined? Yeah, there's a fine being implemented now. If, uh, if, you're, walk- yeah? if you're walking along the street in Victoria right now, listening to this on your stereo like a boombox like you're from the 80s, you're all cunts, Victoria. <laughs> you're all a bunch of cunts. You're up your own fucking ass. Sydney is a far superior fucking city. <laughs> we're a bit cultured. Oh, we're cultured. We're so nice to the Greek people. Fuck off, you cunts. That message was brought to you by Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries. And Final Pro. And, and Final Pro. Nothing. That'll be it. Oh, we, oh, we got a festival. and oh, They were so nasty to me at the Melbourne Festival. They can suck my fucking dick. Why were, They were nasty to you? I just Australia gets a little bit of a fucking chip on their shoulder, you know. You're from there. I know, but when I go back, I do find it hard. I sold well just to British fucking tourists, and it does get on my tits a little bit. And I've never brought this up on the podcast, but it's <laughs> arguably at this, at this moment. I, me and Tim Minchin are probably the two biggest selling Australian acts in the world right now. I got an HBO special. Yeah. No, I go back there and this is the fucking heading in the independent magazine. You and who was the other guy? In the independent magazine Tim in Minchin. Melbourne said, Tim I thought that we had an arts festival and I thought we were above having to listen to people like Jim Jeffries. This wasn't some cunt writing a letter. This is someone writing a fucking review where if Eddie goes over there and says, cock, fuck, cock, fuck, and they carry him around on their shoulders like he's a great... Actually, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. They used to till this year. They, I, my yeah, show that's w- because you're now friends with me. Yeah. I'm dragging you down think, like you're trying I, to swim to the top I, and I'm holding onto your leg. I think there is something to it because this year I did a show called What Women Don't Want to Hear. The, the reporter they send to, uh, to, to review my show is a fucking cross-eyed, 400-pound, fat, oh, lesbian feminist. And she, hang on, hang on, hang on. You didn't need the word feminist at the end. We know if, <laughs> <laughs> from all that other information you've given us, we're pretty sure she might the, be a feminist. The cross-eyed gave it away right there. Yeah, yeah. I no, assume she's no. not carrying around her chihuahua in a handbag. She's a fucking feminist. <laughs> uh, but she wrote that I was vile, disgusting, I needed to be deported. Uh, anyone that likes people won't go to the show or oh, won't yeah, enjoy yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah, because we always know those type of women, they like people. Such a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a laugh to have around your house, isn't it? Oh, here comes this ray of fucking sunshine you know, through yeah. the door. No, I, the other day... <laughs> oh, you're awake! Yeah, no, the other day, the other night I was watching The Real L Word on HBO. Ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah. What? Oh, what? Yeah. what? <laughs> Trying to yeah. find someone that no, fucked no. your wife? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he was also drinking cocoa and saying why men were so bad. It happens to him once a fucking month. Carry on. Actually, I couldn't watch the show. Is Coco a lesbian drink? No, but when he's on his his period, he's like, oh. Were you you waxing your toes at the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Were you going, shoes are good because they no, always it, fit. No matter how fat I get, it was I can actually... always fit into the same size shoe. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us about your fucking lesbian fantasies. Yeah, it right. was, it were, was you, actually... were you jerking off yelling your wife's yeah. name? No, there's no, there's like no sex in that show. One duck on a couch. <laughs> Uh, not the episode I saw. There was no sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was Lalit sex. watches it. There was sex in the. No, there was sex ja- in the I, preview. Jason, Jason. I just pictured Jason with an erection and a handful of lube going, oh, come on! <laughs> I watched this whole fucking thing. Now I want to eat. I was promised something the L word. I'm like that with Battlestar Galactic. Come on! We are fucking. You, you frick. What's that word? That frack. You, frack, yeah, you <laughs> frack an idiot. Jason can't even afford internet or <laughs> a computer, so he just watches like regular TV. Oh, no, free, I have HBO. You get free cable. Because I su- my sublet, I sublet He's, from my He neighbor. steals HBO from the guy next no. door and just pays the $10 a month for the extra extension. Edit it. So he jerks off. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the guy with the huge scissor here, which makes no sense because it's digital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to become the new t- <laughs> Isn't it ironic? <laughs> I thought that was the old t- 
<laughs> oh man, you guys are done. <laughs> this show's over. Man. What are they going to do? They're going to shut us down and not give us any more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, our TV career wasn't as going as good we, as We've you lost be. every ad we have. We, uh, how about oh, you how had Adam and Eve? How are we going? Is this, show, is this show, can we make money out of this show? Is there something in it? Yes. What? <laughs> Working on another angle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When, when I make my clown outfit, <laughs> I like to use this design from kkk.com. <laughs> you just cut if, two small if, eyes if, in the shirt and make sure you haven't got it over a blackhead person at the time. If you need to buy lime and a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> Don't homosexuals get you down? <laughs> oh, God. Louisville sluggers. <laughs> We're done! <laughs> oh, my God. If people knew how tolerant we were. That's right. Like, you really no, you people. guys are tolerant. By the way, for people who can't see, there are just gay men and women all over this. We're side. just fucking each other. We're well, gay men and women making out. People are fucking. All kinds of sexes are fucking around. We're this. probably going to have. Great, <laughs> yeah. Jim made out with Andy Dick. I made out with Andy You made out with. Who I has did not talk? make out with Andy Dick. I let him jerk off in my bed. That did is you? that is true. Andy Dick jerked off in his bed. I'm sure he did. And Eddie didn't change the sheets. That's the most non-gay hating thing anyone could ever do. I know. How could I? How could I be <laughs> I mean, a homophobe? I, I was about to say, is there a word for not hating gays? I, I couldn't even. I couldn't even find it. But I mean, like, I words use, for I, not hating. I use the dry spot to scratch my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just Andy. He's still sleeping in there. <laughs> you roll over and go, ah, oh, don't bother me. Uh, we're definitely gonna get in trouble for this. There's show. a lot of bleep. You know the words you gotta bleep. <laughs> Yeah, just the just the F. I don't think so, you can you <laughs> And leave Jason's story in completely. He's forgotten about it now, he's over it. No, uh, really? okay, do what I said up to that fight. Uh, uh, no, that's uh, fair. Yeah, I took yeah. it out for you. Boy, we gotta take this time. Oh, can I can I mention some things before we go? Well, oh, can yeah, can I plug company. one thing? Absolutely. That's why uh, you're here. I have a We're website. Out. Oh, just okay. keep talking. Okay. Just keep talking, uh, Eddie. My no. website is f bash. <laughs> uh, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, Let's, bleep that out to it's you. It's www. Dot, it's a worldwide f bash. <laughs> so please, oh my God. this is why you have to donate to the show. <laughs> we we have we have more gay friends that we can have on the show, right? Um, Not anymore. We've had one guest, haven't we? We've had Bobby some, Lee's basically. Yeah, one. yeah. We've had some. We've had some gay men. <laughs> and, and, and our show's <laughs> our show's sponsored oh, by the gay man's health crisis. And and oh. and not many people know this, but Machete's gay. Yeah, Machete's gay. And so that makes everything all right. Machete's and L- gay. And enough to be a man. Yeah, Lolita's L- 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 vagina could stick to a lesbian like a bit of Velcro. <laughs> Jason used to date a lesbian. We've got gay neighbors. Jason looks like a We're lesbian. We're the most gay friendly show there we is. We have gay neighbors. We live in Venice. Eddie's had a gay disease. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, Eddie? Have you really? <laughs> That's getting deleted out. <laughs> That's getting deleted? Come on. How long that did was, it take? <laughs> that was all right. That one was funny. It was very funny. <laughs> I didn't say the word. You don't understand. I know. I feel for you. And I fear for my life. I know retaliation is around the corner. And I'm so sorry, and I, w- I am trying to stop it at every corner. You don't know the length of my I'm brother. Going my to. brother went on Greg Leganis's Wikipedia page to say that you two used to date. <laughs> 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 when, when they block people from going on your page, that, like, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> that takes a lot of effort. He did that from Perth. You have no idea what's going to happen to you. I don't want to. I'm fearful. Well, let me put it this way. We had a discussion about it, and I was worried about you being suicidal yeah, after don't, it. You know I'm suicidal anyway. <laughs> don't do that. I have to after I'm a, what you've done. Because I'm a closet. I'm fighting with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the website. Go to Jim and Eddie or f- <laughs> dot com. Go to right? YouTube.com, Jim and Eddie. Uh, pack shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and Eddie pack shit. Dot com. The show's now called Jim and Eddie pack shit. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what just happened there? This is what happens when society goes, don't say that word, because we never do anything like this. We never do. And this is like, they go Tracy Morgan, and they go after Joe Coy and all that type of stuff. And he's that don't touch this button. And that's what happens. And now there's podcasts all over the world where they're saying, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. Maybe everyone else is smart and getting on with their careers. <laughs> hey, I want to I wanna really thank fine Southern gentlemen who made our t-shirts, uh, the uh, pack and shit t-shirt. <laughs> Are you going to be better for the next one? Are you, you yeah, getting less you, high? Are you working your way we're down? We're going to have to give you cocaine. No. Yes, yes. Yeah. You're doing coke for the next yeah. show. Well, now I'll right? Okay, so, but the guys from Fine Southern Gentlemen, please go to their website, finesoutherngentlemen.com. Oh, I like to find Southern Gentlemen. Or, <laughs> oh. <laughs> or you can go to our site and get our T-shirts, buy the T-shirts, donate, please. Donate to the show. Also, get us on Stitcher. Download from our website to get the app on your smartphone. Use the promotional code. F uh, just bleep that. You're going to bleep it, right? Use the promotional code. Make G sure you do. Jim and Eddie. F it's going to upset. Use the, <laughs> Use the promotional code Jim and Eddie. We're done. Yeah, this is one of those things where they're not going to come down on us like they did Tracy Morgan. They're just silently going to ruin our careers even more. I don't think they. I don't think they listen. Yeah, I don't, I don't think any. I don't think anyone who can further our career listens. <laughs> I would have to say that that is probably true. <laughs> I think. I, think, I, think I mean, I, and I, you know, I, I'm just saying that I think. You, you, you're too uptight about I've it. said pretty bad things on stage. I'm starting I to I did think my whole routine about how lesbians shouldn't be welcome in your house. Like, that's the beginning of my next DVD, which has just been purchased by Showtime. Please, please listen. Um, I'm starting to think uh, that by the reading level and writing level of our listeners that we don't have anyone listening over the age of 12. Anyway. Right. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get... Jim and Eddie, touch your kid. All right, that's it. That was, you just ruined the show. Jason. Jason you just ruined Jason. the show. Everything that's was fun. Was... Jason. We can't edit that. There's only a certain amount of edit Jay that you can legally yeah. do. Jason. And that has to... I have friends in this room, and, and yeah. you have, you've embarrassed me. Yeah. And, and you know what, Jason? I, I know kids, and that's wrong. Yeah. You're making jokes yeah. about having sex with kids. That's not funny. Yeah. Everything else here was funny. That's not funny. And then you went too far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're making fun of people who can fight back. Children yeah. can't fight back. <laughs> yeah. Why well, they laughing? can't fight back that well. No. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jason. If you're going to make fun of kids, make fun of the f ones. <laughs> yeah, some of those ones that... Uh... The ones that Tracy Morgan's going to stab. All right. I, look, I would like to... Try. If, if you're oh, listening and you're man. from a big TV network and you've gotten this far into the podcast... These are just jokes. Eddie <laughs> makes me say these things. <laughs> We're bleeping this entire episode. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> it's just going to go bleep for an hour. All right. We're done. That might be funny. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we got to email us too. Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. <laughs> thanks for listening. You guys have been great. Uh, <laughs> no, you guys haven't done shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck we've, you. We've called them cunts and 12 year olds yeah, all yeah, day. Yeah. Uh, but um, thanks for everybody coming and hanging out. And Eddie Pepitone, thank you very Do you have anything you want to plug, Eddie? Not on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Was this a mistake coming here? <laughs> uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie will be walking the dog in a park near you. Uh, <laughs> Eddie, is this going to play? Yeah. Uh, I'll plug one thing. I'll plug, um, uh, I have a daily comic video strip called At Pudding, At Pudding Strip on Twitter. A, <laughs> it's at P U D D I N S T R I P at uh, on Twitter. And what do you do? You do a video strip. every week. I, I I get together with uh, with uh, Pat Oswalt's brother Matt, and we film about Matt Oswalt. Matt <laughs> <laughs> I went for it too. <laughs> we uh, we film like thirty. We film like thirty episodes. Of the, it's just really quick. Just check it out. Okay. At, at, at and what about your podcast? You have a podcast? Oh yeah, at Longshot.com. At longshot.com. Do you say the word, the F word in your show? All the time. Can we, can we, <laughs> but we don't do what you guys do, which is attack these types of groups. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I've never called them these types of groups. <laughs> well, that's, they're my that's what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I only, I only joke because I care. I'm like Jeff Ross in a roast. <laughs> we're, uh, we're secular humanists. We're secular All humanists. All right, I think that's it for us tonight. Um, so um, please don't, don't send this to anyone that's important. Go fuck yourself. Talking shit. Talking shit.